This morning, I'm walking around the park by our house, and I plan on capturing some sunrise time lapses. There's a funny thing I've noticed about shooting time lapses. You're capturing something that shows the progression of time rapidly. But when you're shooting a time lapse, your perception of time slows. And in that moment, you get a greater appreciation of whatever it is you're capturing. I have gone on some incredible quests to capture time lapses. The pursuit of these time lapses lead to adventures that shape me into the best version of myself. The time spent in these incredible places with my camera shifts my focus onto the incredible things in this world. I don't know why I thought this park would be a great place to vlog. I literally have all these loud birds just chirping everywhere. Not my best pick. Today, I want to share a little lesson in patience. You see this sun right here? You see that beautiful sunrise? I literally had my time lapse going for the past 30 minutes right there, and I didn't think that sun was gonna peek through. Just, why? Why did I stop early? When I first got here and saw outside and started shooting the time lapse, I wanted to pack up and leave, honestly. And I'm super glad I didn't because I got one of my favorite drone shots I've gotten in a very long time. Just goes to show you, be a little patient. Give that sunrise a chance because, oh man, it is gorgeous this morning. What's up? Yo, Grandma. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Jealous bitch. <laughs> Okay, so today I am working on my golf swing uh, at Top Golf. We're gonna meet some friends, have some fun. Uh, this is all in prep for me to. Uh, crush my brother at my first game of golf. Now I am in no way whatsoever trying to take up golf as a hobby, but we definitely had fun whacking the heck out of these balls. I know that this is not something you can be good at without some time put in, but all I really want to do is be able to participate and have fun when my brother comes to visit. And I have to say, there is something truly fun about failing at something new with the people you love. We are now going to practice my short game at uh, the only golf I've ever done, which is mini golf. So one of the most frequently asked questions I get is, how am I so comfortable filming out in public? And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am not. This is something that I've gotten more comfortable with by practicing and facing my fears and forcing myself to go out and film in public. It doesn't really go away. An added thing is, uh, I am filming on 
this monstrosity of a rig right here. Whereas I think it's more socially acceptable to like film on your phone. This monstrosity, people tend to notice and you get really self-conscious. That fear of being judged and, and that self-consciousness, I'm a bit rusty on it. So I'm out here downtown trying to get some coffee, face my fear of anxiety filming out in public because uh, I leave on this trip that I'm gonna be driving through a lot of public places and I really wanna capture it right. So I need to get comfortable filming out here, so yeah. I am finding in this video a very consistent theme, and that is patience pays off in dividends. Instead of me rushing to film and face my little anxiety about filming in public, I gave myself a few minutes to just acclimate to being in the shop and read my book and, and relaxed for a second. After about five, 10 minutes, I got very, very comfortable in there and bringing out my camera was no big deal. This is probably the best advice I could give is give yourself a minute if you can and don't rush to film in a new place or a place maybe you're not as comfortable with. First, acclimate, get comfortable with the place because that really helped me today. Videos theming, staying consistent. My brother has finally arrived and we decide to spend our first day together at Universal. Now we manage to get on a few rides, but unfortunately for us, the weather shuts down most of the coasters in the park, so we decide to head out early. Nick decided uh, we are ending the Universal day early, play some mini golf before our game of golf. Chelsea, did you make it? <laughs> did you get in the parking lot? <laughs> Don't miss! You never miss. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild! Who won? Me. I went two over with the 44. And then Cody, you went six over with the 48. And then Chelsea came in third. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea scored. 62, 69. 61. <laughs> As we conclude our first day together, we keep our fingers crossed for better weather on our last day together. Okay, so obviously the rain has subsided. Me and Nick are getting ready to play our first round of big boy golf. Yeah, Eagle Creek. Yeah, a little warm up uh, yesterday with uh, some putt putt. Uh -huh. It was a close race. I imagine the the gap will be similar, right? Yeah, you should be within a few strokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, this should be good. We have uh, already started hitting a couple balls on the range before we start our game, and it's already not looking good for me. Nick is way better than I am, but at least I'm hitting the ball this time. Nick's first shot. <laughs> I don't even know where it went. I am uh, definitely getting some steps in. Golf can be quite athletic. <laughs> well, I just had the most satisfying hit of the, the game. Uh, after like four bad hits, I caught up. So I keep getting praise for it, but I have no idea what I'm doing.
it's kind of a cliche, but people say you can learn a lot about somebody by the way they play golf. And uh, yeah, I'm a bit of a hothead. You'll learn that about me quick, but uh, I persevere. I keep swinging, you know? And it goes for everybody with golf. You know, you see people who, they try to like cheat the game of golf. And there's like a old saying is like, if you see someone cheating on the golf course, you don't do business with that guy. Cause that means that they're a cheater in business too. I'm still not gonna take up golf for sure. But uh, there's something about trying it that's given me a, a lot more respect for people who can play golf. It's harder than you'd think. It, it's a lot harder than you'd think. Yeah, you gotta be patient for the days to pass and time to pass and you hope that the people around you are patient as well because nobody likes being around some angry fucker. <laughs> so, sorry, are you allowed to swear on your YouTube channel? Well, concluded our game of golf. I, I had fun. I did have fun. Um, he did well. Three fairways, uh, one green in regulation for his first round of golf. I know that means nothing to Cody, but somebody watching this out there might understand what I'm talking about. And uh, their numbers. <laughs> their numbers. Yeah. Yeah. But. So uh, yeah, Nick is uh, packing up though. We we finished golf. We're done with golf. This is not a golf YouTube channel. Um, but Nick shared some advice before I leave for my cross country road trip. And it's just been really nice for him to come visit us at the house for the very first time. Yeah. And it was all in all a good trip. Well worth the wait of him driving all the way across country to come out here. Yes, I'll be flying next time. I will fly <laughs> in during the summer and uh, I will rely on you guys to pick me up from the airport. Yeah, you don't want to do that drive to Florida in the summer. Take a Cool. Right. Bye. Goodbye, YouTube. <laughs> Bye.